Hey YouTube, T9 here. Um, the other day I went to the local store and came across uh, one of these tactical grip gloves by Packmeyer, um, which actually the first time I've seen these was on uh, the Armory channel. Pete had one of those on his, I think it was a Glock 19 or so, and I thought, you know what, they look pretty cool. I mean, they look awesome. I mean, if they feel good, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind buying one of those once I came across going into a, I don't know, local gun store or so. However, it took me a while. I really haven't seen them until until the other day I went down south somewhere and, and they had one of these in the stock. I said, you know what, I'm going to pick one of those up for my Glock 17. And sure enough, put it on and I kind of like it. I like the looks of it. I like the feel of it. It's very like cushiony. It's, uh, I don't know if it's going to help with any recoil or so. I, I have no idea, but however, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does help with more comfort when it comes to shooting. So, haven't taken it to the range yet. Um, we'll see. Maybe down the line, I'm gonna try that out, and let you guys know. But I think it looks good. Great looking, great looking um, grip there for the Glock 17. Wasn't too expensive either. Um, I think it was like 19, 19 bucks. So. Thanks Pete for showing that into in your videos there because I didn't really know these existed until you showed me. All right, so the main purpose of this video actually is, let me just put this aside, is to accessorize my Mossberg 590A1. I, I told you guys in a prior video that's, that's what I was gonna do. Um, I have both my items in. It's pretty, just, pretty much just a couple items and pretty much only the, the items are there for adding more shells to the to the shotgun and um, holding more shells and obviously extending the tube like I mentioned before. So <clears throat> first item is the uh, Mesa Tactical Shot Shell Holder Carrier. This one is the six shell holder. I thought that the six shells just plenty. Some of them go a little bit too long and you have to modify the, the foregrip here um, and that's I don't I don't have the time today to do that. I think six six is just fine. Let me just grab this and show you guys. What I really like about this one is that the uh, the finish is just a, is the same parkerized finish as on the uh, Mossberg 591, which is gonna blend in just fine. Made from I think it was aircraft aluminum or something like that. Um, very sturdy. Give you guys a close up here real quick. And it's pretty simple. It attaches right to the side here. It comes actually, I believe it comes with a sort of like a rubber, what, let's see, it comes with some Allen wrench, some tools, comes with a pin. That pin is probably getting replaced right here on the side. Um, it comes with one of these uh, adhesive rubber strips just to kind of protect the finish on your shotgun. I'm definitely going to use this. Um, I believe it goes right on here, but I'm going to read the instructions a little bit here in, in, a, in a second. So I'm going to install it here on the side, which is a quick install. I'm not going to do it on the video because it's pretty much just taking out pins and, and putting in the side, side saddle here. So Mesa Tactical, that's the first item. Great, great, um, great product. Um, read a few reviews and only, only good reviews there. Um, especially with holding the, sh the, the shells in and staying in. Um, they have this, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a rubber liner and like a, it's a tube that goes all along here and it keeps your shells inside. So um, great product. So that's the first first item I'm gonna install. And then the, the next item is this one, which took some time to get here because it comes from Canada. Um, s and Hardware, this will be the uh, magazine tube extension, uh, let me rip that open, of course, when you really need a knife, you don't have it around, let me just uh, rip that open like such, so um, this magazine tube extension, did a lot of reading, and this is, this is the one that closest resembles the uh, the stock tube. So once that is, let me just let me just grab this here. Once that is installed, it 
Should A be flush with the barrel and B the finish is just about the same as the finish on the on the stock Mossberg here. So it's gonna look awesome. This is pretty easy. All you need to do is take this cap off, take the spring out. It comes with another spring with an extra with a just of course to uh, accommodate the longer the magazine, the longer magazine tube. Comes with a high visible follower. And this install is also a quick one, literally. I just need to uns un unscrew this cap, pull out the spring, put the new spring in, put on the long extension, and that's it. Done deal. All right, so that's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to install those two items. I'll come back and give you guys a, um, a full view of the, of the finished, finished uh, Mossberg here and uh, see what you guys think. I'm, I'm going to work here. I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, I'm back, and here it is, the finished product. I think it looks awesome. It's The side saddle looks great. It, the, it fits to the finish just right. Um, the tube extension is the same finish as the, uh, as the stock tube right down here. Um, all in all, it took me maybe, um, I would say, uh, 20 minutes for both to install. And um, give you guys a quick, quick uh, close up here so here's the um, Mesa tactical six shell holder you guys can see that maybe the finish is exactly the same as on the Mossberg going down to the uh, S&J hardware magazine tube extension and it's flush with the front here, which makes it really, I think it makes it great looking. So that puts my round count to what? Let me see, I believe that's eight now, plus, um, plus the six, <clears throat> so 14. And then I also, on the stock back here, I have plus two, 16. Uh, on, on the other side, the same thing, 18. So I think that's a fairly decent amount of shells for a shotgun. So um, I think I'm good with that. So I don't need to get any more accessories when it comes to carrying more shells. Um, my next project will probably be the uh, forend here and get one of those surefire lights, which um, work great. Um, I'll let you know that's not ones I've purchased that. Kind of expensive, I think they were on the $350 mark. So that's gonna be down it's going to take a little bit, but anyways, here's my finished product. Um, I think it looks awesome, um, especially the, uh, the the Mesa Tactical here, and it works just fine. I mean, these shells, they um, pretty much stay. Um, they don't fall loose or anything like that. I'm probably going to take it to the, to the shooting range and put put it through sh a few shells down range and um, see if they rattle loose or come down but most likely not because they, they're in there quite well all right so Mesa Tactical S&J Hardware T9 signing out